Ask Reddit by Courtney Corset. How did a traumatic event teach you an important life lesson? I lost my 19 year old son last June. It has truly put in perspective where I spend time. I worked for over 20 years 50-60 plus hours a week. Missed out on so many memories while being at work trying to support my family. Live in your means. Being able to provide nice things isn't nearly as important as memories made. As a parent this truly does bring perspective to me. Trying to balance life is one of the hardest things I've ever done. My personality has literally been formed by constant trauma response in my formative years. The upside I'm hella resilient and have a heck of a sense of humor now. Same here. I'm mostly pessimistic because of the adversity I've came through so, when something cool happens I enjoy it plenty yet I don't expect anything good from people and life. If something bad occurs I don't get hurt anymore or at least I don't suffer so much like in the past. That my parents truly didn't care about me, they only cared that no one found out what happened to me and that I was outwardly unaffected to save face. It took me 10 years after the event to finally give up and become estranged from them. It's been incredibly difficult, but it has allowed some healing. I understand I had to stop all contact with my toxic father. I was a witness to an almost fatal drunk driving crash. I never drank a drop since. Poor dude nearly died because somebody came from the bar and hit him in the middle of town. I'll never forget it. I bet you will also never drink and drive and that in itself is something amazing that came from a shitty situation. Death is strangely uneventful. I thought there would be a struggle or some sort of event that would announce someone is about to die. Maybe they try to hold on. Nope, I've watched older relatives die, in a hospital bed. Slowly breathing, until the breathing suddenly stops. Interestingly my grandfather was vaguely lucid on his last day. He was talking to his mother as if she was there. My dad takes that as comfort that there is something beyond. I'm more of a believe my grandfather was high on morphine and tripping. As someone who has never experienced death I appreciate you sharing these things. It makes it easier to think about being able to talk to about it. When your intuition tells you that person is abusive in any form. Leave. 100% don't ever settle for what you believe you deserve. Ego death. Take it as you want. Judge or don't believe in it. But losing your ego, that's something that you can achieve a few times in life. Some of us are lucky to experience it. When you lose your ego, even for a few seconds, the connection you feel with the world and people is something you can't explain in words. Traumatic for the moment? Definitely. Powerful after it? Absolutely. It's unreal what copious amounts of proper psychedelic use did for me. It's like seeing wizards behind curtains and everything that once bothered you before just doesn't. It's freeing and I only hope others may experience it someday. A while back I was in a spectacular freeway crash caused by a drunk driver that involved 7 vehicles, 2 car fires. 10 victims, and a major freeway shutdown for 3 hours. There was a moment just after my car had been hit and had started spinning that I realized I was not in control anymore. There was plastic and glass flying everywhere, and I was just along for the ride. Sometimes there's nothing you can do, and you're just along for the ride. Love is unconditional, romantic relationships are not. My ex taught me that. Understanding the distinction between the two is powerful. Let people think whatever narrative they want to because they will believe whatever they want regardless of facts. Also, to trust my experience and not let anyone gaslight me into thinking it didn't happen the way I know it did. Do not put yourself, by yourself, under the influence, anywhere that you do not know and amp, trust anyone. My mom died of a brain tumor when I was 14. It destroyed my brothers and that. I learned that kids at that age need secular professional help to deal with their grief. You can find peace in the worst situations. 
I got paralyzed from the chest down, and then COVID happened in quick step after I got out into the world with my brand new wheelchair. Sitting in bed one night I decided to not be depressed and make the best of it, though in the back of my mind was convinced I couldn't do this. I ended up doing it and I'm broadly happy with my life now it taught me that although insane improbable stuff might happen to you, you can always step back, figuratively, assess and decide the best response. That's helped me out a lot in the years since getting my injury, just taking a breath, thinking, coming to your mode of response and going forward from there. It also taught me that I'm fairly resilient, which is nice to know. We're all in the same struggle it doesn't matter what color the bag is. It's the shit inside that matters. We're all in the same colorful shit bag. Trauma isn't a life lesson, that's what I've learned from trauma. I don't have to find some meaning or lesson from the fucked up shit that happened to me over the years. Shitty things happen. Sometimes they're in your control and sometimes they're not, and there's not always a silver lining or a moral tale. Some shit just stings and burns, like salt in a wound, and all you can do is learn to live with it. I think the same way. Ironically enough, there was something almost comforting in the bleak reality that there isn't always a lesson. It's like I didn't need to keep searching. Also, I feel like others will tell you there's a lesson or everything happens for a reason, and just comfort themselves. I get that they have good intentions and they probably want to comfort you, but sometimes it just sounds so unrealistic and disingenuous. Man I've got a ton of these but here's the biggest one. I had anxiety about driving for a really long time and never got my license. I went on a date, dude picked me up, and I ended up stuck at his house with no way home at the end of the night. By the end of that night I did find a ride, to the ER. I never wanted to experience that again, and thus the importance of facing certain fears to gain independence became a valuable life lesson. People aren't at all what they show others what they'd like you to believe. I once lost all my data due to a computer crash, which taught me that backing up your work is the digital equivalent of don't put all your eggs in one basket a basket that can and will spontaneously combust. Getting run over by a car when I was a teen taught me the world ain't fair and I am indeed mortal. The limp and pain in most of my joints has been with me going on 30 years as a reminder. The substandard medical care taught me to lower my life expectations. My dad died in a motor vehicle accident and almost exactly a year later my daughter died in my arms, still trying to find the lesson. Not all trauma needs to teach you something. Sometimes that's all it is, trauma. Don't abandon people even if they want to abandon you at a difficult moment when you're both losing your shit. I was grappling with my immaturity she was grappling with losing a friend. It should have been obvious that what my heart was telling me was the right move. And six months later my ego is somewhere drowning at the bottom of my heart's depths with two massive concrete shoes. Being abandoned by the ones you love will teach you a lot about the kinds of people you let into your life. Abandoning the ones you love will teach you a lot about yourself. Rock bottom. About to end it all. Pills in hand. And I call my mother for support. And she tells me just get over it. It was what I needed to break this intermittent reinforcement of good mom bad mom. Now I'm polite but I don't talk to her and I'm better for it. It makes me sad when I hear about moms caring about their children but I'm better off knowing this truth. Yeah while a young adult reeling in self-loathing and hurt by the brutality of real life I got what are you gonna do? Give up? Like dude I'm asking you what I'm missing. I'm telling you what shades I'm seeing I just need you to say you get it. Dropped out of HS at 17. Two weeks later, mom was diagnosed with cancer 38 days after that, she died. I was an orphan. Went to live with a sister of mine and learned to never take life for granted again. Moved out at 18, and now I'm 29, married, stable career, and continuing to work on myself. Went from feeling like a failure of a son to feeling like my mom would be proud of me. Miss you mom. I'll see you again one day. 
People talk shit 99% of the time. Only one person and the one you least expect will show up for you in your time of need.